Well, there may be even more spying we don't know about yet. This morning, George Papadopoulos tweeted that he may have been monitored as early as the end of 2015. Papadopoulos has a new book about his experiences titled Deep State Target. George Papadopoulos joins us tonight. George, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, so you suggested this morning that you believe that you were being monitored even before you connected formally with the Trump campaign. Is that right? Absolutely. Um, so I, in November of 2015, upon the, it was the same month that I was joining the Ben Carson campaign, because people forget that I was on Carson's campaign before I joined Trump's campaign. I was living in London, and I had been approached by high-level State Department officials and even the CIA um, in London. And they invited me to the U.S. Embassy to meet with me and to basically probe me and to get to know why I'm joining the Ben Carson campaign and what the Ben Carson campaign was really all about. And the man who invited me was David Kovic, who still works at the U.S. Embassy in London, and I think he's directing the energy department over there. So clearly by November 2015, I don't think that Trump's campaign was the only one that was under surveillance, quite frankly. I think uh, many of the Republican candidates probably had some sort of illicit surveillance upon their own campaigns because it wasn't just Donald Trump who was running for the presidency against uh, Clinton and uh, vying um, you know, to overthrow uh, that. So I know this is a long story, okay, but as succinctly yeah. as you can, why in the world would our intelligence agencies have an interest in which campaign you were joining? You know what, I think uh, Bob Mueller might, might have uh, dropped a really important piece of information that many uh, reporters overlooked, and that was that uh, they stated that there were wiretaps and surveillance warrants issued on me for my ties to the Israeli government. Now, for everybody watching this program, Israel is America's top ally in the world. And Bob Mueller stated in his report that there were wiretaps and likely, possibly, I've been told a FISA warrant issued on me for my connections, legitimate connections to the Israeli government. So I think that what this whole story about myself and others, of course, has nothing to do with Russia. It probably has something to do with my ties to other governments, and they, and they basically threw me in the middle of this Russia conspiracy to cover that up. There's no other explanation for how and I by got other And by other governments, just to be clear, you mean Israel? I mean Israel, and I'm just quoting Bob Mueller himself, and it was right. very strange that uh, he admitted that. I even tweeted it just today, uh, and the language is all there. So when I was being approached by these uh, assets, uh, U.S. intelligence, British intelligence, and Australian intelligence from 2015 through 2016, they were always asking me two disparate yeah. questions. One, who are your personal contacts? And two, what Trump is up to with Russia? So there was clearly monitoring, and I think that's what uh, William Barr is going to get to the bottom of, this why these assets were targeting me and others. <laughs> It's a looking glass world, and you're right in the middle of it. George Papadopoulos, thank you for that. Good to talk to you. <laughs> it's <tonight>. incredible. <laughs> it is incredible. Thank you. Thank you.